Most gym owners don't believe that they have a churn problem, but when you look at the actual numbers and where you're at, you can't ignore it. There is a churn problem. Let's say you are currently in a situation where for the last six months, your revenue has not changed. So your revenue has maybe fluctuated between one to $2,000 and it stayed basically the same, but you are still signing up 10 to 15 people every single month. If that is the case and your revenue has stayed the same, that means you are churning out 10 to 15 people per month. You're staying in the exact same spot. And so you're on this hamster wheel not able to move past this if you are a gym owner making between twenty thousand to fifty thousand dollars a month this video is for you this is part of the series that we're talking about the seven money models we use to scale gyms to over a hundred thousand dollars a month like clockwork i hope you find this valuable if you want to download this entire pdf which is actually a hundred pages and it's not just seven money models it's actually 30 different frameworks and money models that we have used to scale gyms to over a hundred thousand dollars a month you can grab it for free just by clicking the link in the description down below and as always if you like this information go ahead hit that subscribe button we appreciate it let's dive in we're in section one of this pdf and we're looking at level two. This is somewhere kind of what we've identified over six years of working with gyms, over 4,500 different facilities across the world in 19 different countries. This is what we found. So typically a level two gym is gonna look like this. You have less than 250 members. Now, for some of you, you're like, man, I'm making $50,000 a month off 100 members. That's great. That means your pricing is aligned and where it should be. For, but for most facilities, 95% of the facilities that we talk to, and we talked to over 33,000 gyms in the last six years and gathered all the data around their revenue, the average Average gym typically charges between 120 to 150 dollars and when you think about it their actual average client value is typically in that 130 range because of discounts and things like that when you look at these members keep in mind there are some gyms that are making fifty thousand dollars a month and they have 250 members and the reason is because your pricing isn't right so if you're in this stage we need to look at pricing level two gym less than that their revenue twenty thousand to fifty thousand dollars a month and they typically hit that ceiling at 50k and they struggle to get past it for the two reasons down below from a staff standpoint what you're looking at here is you're looking at typically an owner obviously is in there and still working in the business. Very rarely are you going to see an owner that's out unless you're running typically a highly profitable semi-private facility. Owner's still in there, typically working anywhere between 40 to 60 hours a week. You have typically two to five trainers that are gonna be on the floor taking classes. Some gyms have more, but they're just trading memberships for them. You probably have a manager at this point, especially if you're up at the higher level, closer to $50,000. And depending on where you're at, you might have sales a salesperson and you might have an admin front desk or something like that these are all kind of up in the air depending on where you are in that range but most of the time when we see gyms at this point they're either losing money still even at fifty thousand dollars a month you might be at ten thousand and think that's impossible there's no way you could be losing money at fifty thousand dollars a month you better believe it we have gyms that have come to us making over eighty thousand dollars a month and still losing money they're in the red they're negative up to typically on average seven thousand dollars a month in actual business profit the owner may take a salary but the profit of the actual facility at most is typically 7k which is not great at all and the two reasons why that is and why gyms cap out at this level at 50k and struggle to get past that is because they lack two things they typically have an acquisition problem they are unable to profitably acquire new customers at scale so you can grab a couple people but you're struggling to go out and consistently bring in 15 20 50 new clients every single month to offset this other problem that you have which is churn this leaky bucket syndrome of clients leaving. And what's fascinating to me is that most gym owners that we have talked to, and I've talked to and coached thousands of gym owners now over the last four years of being in this business, most gym owners don't believe that they have a churn problem. But when you look at the actual numbers and where you're at, you can't ignore it. There is a churn problem. Um, and I'll give you an example. Let's say you are currently in a situation where for the last six months, your revenue has not changed. So your revenue has maybe fluctuated between one to $2,000 and it stayed basically the same, but you are still signing up 10 to 15 people every single month. If that is the case and your revenue has stayed the same, that means you are churning out 10 to 15 people per month. You're staying in the exact same spot. And so you're on this hamster wheel, not able to move past this. So the two things that we have to address first is acquisition and churn. Both of those combined will help you get to the next spot. And depending on what the primary problem is, you can look at where you're at and be able to attack one first. So right now, if your churn is closer to 10 to 12%, but you don't have an acquisition, 
acquisition system, you wanna attack acquisition. If you have roughly 10 to 12% churn or higher, and you have a decent acquisition process in place where you can go out and profitably acquire new clients, then cool, let's attack churn and let's start dropping that. And you'll find all the frameworks in this PDF, which you can download for free by clicking the link in the description below. On the next one in this playlist, we're gonna talk about a level three gym, someone that's making over 50,000, but not quite at that seven figure mark and break down what that gym looks like and what the three crippling problems are that's keeping that gym from scaling. I'll see you on the next video. Please implement the system so that you can reach more people, change more lives and ultimately stack cash. Thank you.